had been doing ads and put a cap. So when we set our, our yeah, spending yeah. budget to 70, it only built 50 and it may have stopped. Um, I had a pretty good view count. I think it's like 10,000, but. Oh yeah, bro. That's pretty, that's plenty. That's plenty. So that's plenty. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'll show you where to go ahead and go ahead and share your screen. Oh yeah. Okay. Actually, let me just, let me switch that and hang on. Do you want to, um, or oh, you're on your cell phone? No, I'm on, well, I'm, on, I'm using a laptop and then I'm on the desktop because hang on, let me, let me gotcha. just log into Facebook real quick. I can do that. Okay. So you can see it. What I did you end up changing your cap limit? Were you able to do that? Or do you want me to show you? Well, I, I was trying to figure it out and I, I didn't figure, I think it, I just didn't want to mess with it while, while it was still going. So, um, gotcha. hang on. Um, let me get in here. Like you, once the ad is live, you don't want to, tr you don't want to mess with much with much at all. Like yeah. you don't want to change anything really. Okay. So here's my page. I need to go into go to manage, manage ads, I guess. Yeah. You can go to that. And so have you created a folder? Like, have I got you to, to, to bookmark pages yet? I don't, think so okay i don't and any any specific questions as well shoot them for sure but what i want to do is just make sure that that you have these basics covered and so as we go in and run this first video ad now let's go into the ads manager actually go ahead and click on click on create at the very top and then click on add and that will bring you to the ads manager but as as you start to really navigate this this back end of facebook this ads manager um there's a few pages that you want to bookmark just so you can have it in a folder and always be able to re refer back to them, you know, right away with it, you know, okay. quick of a click. This is one page. So go ahead and, and, and create a folder at the top. Um, do you have room? At, what you have an Apple, huh? You're using a Mac. Oh yeah. I'm on Apple. Do you, I have However a, you my desktop is windows. So whatever you, wh whatever you can do to bookmark, can you, you could create a folder at the top, right? Cause I'm not familiar with Mac. Oh yeah. This is, I'm actually using the brave browser. Um, gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Which is, yeah. I think I can do it like right here. Bookmark this tab. You can bookmark this tab, but then also you want to, you want to create a folder so you can bookmark multiple pages and then put them all in that one folder. You know what I mean? Gotcha. Um, so like Facebook or something. Can you see this? Um, no, I could see your ad. I could see, yeah, I could see your screen, but I don't see what you're typing. Okay. Okay. It's, it's, it's adding a bookmark, but I guess it doesn't show on the, on zoom. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it should. Um, where are you typing that at? It just, it's a pop-up though. So maybe it gotcha. didn't. Okay. Um, so like what I did here, if I could go to. This is one page you want to bookmark and, and anytime you're in here, you always want to make sure you're in the right account. That drop down right there, Scott Myers, hit that drop down one zero two zero. Oh, I need to be perfect. Yeah, I so guess it is. Yeah. So you're, you're in the correct one. So yeah, this is a page. This is what I call your three pillars, just your campaign, your ad set and your ad. This is how the beginning of how you set up any ad. Okay. So that first one was video views. And then now here's what we're going to do now. Unless, unless you have an actual objective, like, are you, what, what, what do you want to do next? Cause we can, I can show you it that way, but then I also want to show you these bookmark, these different pages that I want you to bookmark. Uh, well, let's just go, I'm, you know, whatever is most effective. I'm okay. You know, Perfect. I'm so your, we have the uh, video view ad running or it ran. Um, let's just bookmark a few pages really, really quick. And go look um, at that ad first. We'll, we'll look at that. Let me, let me have you bookmark these real quick. This okay. is one page that you'll bookmark and then click on those dots at the top left. Click that and then click on ads manager. And when you click on ads manager, that brings you to the, to the, to the, to the actual dashboard. This is where you'll view everything. So as you, this first one will most likely be the only video view ad from ad number two and on. It's all about creating an audience of those who watched that one and then, yeah. and then continue to retarget them every single week with a new video. So that'd be video ad number two. And that's now when we go into promoting and offering the seller guide. And, and now it's no longer video views as when you click that green button, you go into create, you go in to set up the ad. It's no longer video views. Go ahead and click on it, the green one. So it, it, the first one was, was, yeah, click on the left. 
select guided creation. Yeah, you can click on that one. So that brings you back over here. So the first one was video views. From ad number two and on, it'll be conversions because now we're looking to capture leads. Oh, here. Even if it was a, it, because all I'm recommending every weekly ad to be a video. So even though it's video, don't go with video views. You're not going with traffic. You're not going with engagement. You're going with conversions. Conversions is lead capture. But there's yeah. a few things we have to do before we can do that, before we can run that ad. Okay. So um, go we'll back get to up. that. We'll get to that part. We'll get on, we'll get to what we have to do, but let me book, let's bookmark a few pages. So bookmark this page. This is the dashboard. Okay. All right. And then, and then whenever an ad is completed, what I normally do is I'll just shade that blue to gray. Just to, just to turn them gray. Yeah. Turn it gray. So just a quick look at the results. I thought it was bigger. It says a reach of 7,800, but results only says 1,200. So those are through plays. So a through play is anyone who watched 15 seconds of it. Okay. So at least 1,200 people, 1,252 watched at least 15 seconds of it. So do I need to increase that? We can. We'll, we'll take a look at it, but, but um, click on that second tab. So you have three sets, so, or three tabs, I should say. The campaigns, oh, okay. the ad sets for one campaign, and then the ads for one campaign. Those are your three tabs. Those are the three pillars. So as we click on that green button and we go and set up the ad, those are the three steps. Campaigns, so it's, it's just laid out this way in three tabs. Yep, and when it's laid it. out this way, you can look at all the numbers. You can look at all the metrics, right? Okay. So that's why titling it is somewhat important because when you look at it from this perspective, you want to be able to look at that title, 18 plus, Panda Express, Yorktown. You want to be able to just look at the tab and say, okay, cool. I know what ad that was, right? That's why titling each one is important. So you can look at it from this view and know what that is because as you create multiple ads, you're going to have to click on each one to find out what the targeting was when I can just make a quick description of it right there, right? And, and know what ad that was, know where I was targeting. So it's just good to title your tabs, title each, each title, but um, click that to gray. So again, when it's off, try to come back in here and shade those to gray and then um, click on the third tab and shade that one to gray too. So even though it's off, it completed, you still want to shade them to gray. It's just a good habit to get into that way. When you come in here and you look at your dashboard by default, it's going to take you to the campaign. Go ahead and uncheck that one. It's going to bring you to the campaign. So right when you bookmark, you, you're bookmarking this page. So when you look at it, you'll know, you'll see blue or gray. And right when you see blue, man, those are ads that should be on. Right. And then when you look at gray, those are ads that are fully, fully off. So you okay. bookmark this page. Now let's click on the three dots. I mean the dots again to the top left. Mm -hmm. And then let's click on um, audiences. What we have to do now is we have to create audiences. We have to create an audience. What a good audience would be, especially in the very, very beginning, is to, cap, is to create an audience of those who watched the, the through play. So the 1,200 people that watched at least 15 seconds of that first one, let's create an audience of them. Okay. That way we can, we can show those 1,200 people, we can show them ad number two. So but, but again, in ad number two, remember, our objective is no longer just viewing it. Our objective now is conversions. Our objective now is to get you to click learn more. It's to get you to freaking opt in. That's the objective, right? Yeah. But I want to have the audience. I want to be able to retarget those people who are, again, watching my stuff. I want them to keep seeing me. So create custom audience. And then what you can do is you can create a custom audience around many different things. But to tell you the truth, what you'll really focus on 100% of the time is creating a customer, uh, excuse me, creating a custom audience of everyone around a website and everyone around a video. So the video, let's go there. Let's start there. The video is anyone. So click engagement, click, click inside that box. Yeah. Click inside the box there and go with, see, there goes through play people who either completed or viewed at least 15 seconds. That's a quote unquote through play. So yeah, let's, let's create an audience of that. Choose videos, go wow. ahead and click on choose videos at the uh, top. Oh, gotcha. I'm sorry. There we go. And then, and then That's grab cool. that video right there. Perfect. And then scroll to the bottom and just hit um, confirm. Perfect. And then give it a name, give it a name. People who watched 15 seconds of my 
intro video or whatever. Like just try to be as specific as possible, but that's a brief description. Try not to make it too, too long. Because again, when you look at it from the dashboard, you wanna be able to tell exactly what it is right away um, without having to click on it. It just saves you a ton of time. So people who watch 15 seconds of intro video, perfect. Perfect, intro video ad, perfect. Create audience. Now that's your first audience. So as we go in for ad number two and we go into the setup, we click the green button, we click create, we go and set up the ad. We're gonna now be able to retarget those people. Bookmark this page. So bookmark this and, and title it uh, custom audiences. So you'll be able to refer back to this page right away if you wanna start another audience. Now here's the deal. Click on the blue one, create audience. From this point on, you'll, you'll continue to create audiences around those who are watching it. I think 15 seconds, watch, click on custom audience. You can grab an audience of anyone. Click on next. Actually hit done, you gotta uncheck the box. I think the box is still checked. Um, Go to, yeah, go to, so yeah, just click the blue button now. Let's try it again. Custom audience. Okay, perfect. So go back to video. So you can create an audience. Click on the, in the box again. Look at all the other ones, all the other options. 10 seconds, 25%, 50%, 70%. So you can create an audience around anything. But I, I think 15 seconds, the through play might be the best because okay. you'll have the biggest audience, obviously. And for okay. someone to sit there and watch 15 seconds of it, and they happen to live down the street, like that's, why not? Like, why not? Like you watched 15 seconds of my stuff. That's a long time, right? It's still a decent time. And that will obviously be my bigger audience than a 75 percenter audience. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah, definitely. So I'd rather just stay around and keep showing those people and keep building audiences. So every video, this is how you're going to do it. Every video. Okay? okay. So let's cancel out of this or let's click out. Let's X out. Okay, so this right here, you bookmark that. Now click the create audience again. Let me show you the, the second audience that you'll be creating a lot of. But this gotcha. is when you get landing page software. What about your landing page software? Have you looked into that? Oh yeah, I do, I do have uh, free landing pages with um, KB Core. Perfect. So I have unlimited look at that. and uh, they said there that I can hook my Facebook pixel on there. It's perfect, that's all you need then, man. So click on, the, click on that, custom audiences, audience. Now click on website. This is where you start to create a custom audience. So go ahead and, and, and track website conversions using pixel. This is your pixel. So go ahead and give that pixel a name. If you wanna leave it Scott Myers pixel, that's fine. But you can, you can customize that name if you need to. And then check your website for easy setup options. Leave that part blank. But that title, that's, that's good enough. Scott Myers pixel. Yeah. Or, you can, or you can name it something different before you click continue. It could be uh, actually, you know what? Why don't you name it um, your purpose realtor? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And and take take off the word pixel. You don't need pixel there. Your purpose realtor, perfect. So that's the title of your pixel. So hit continue. Okay, now this right here, let's click on. Um, well, see, here's the deal. Now pull up, pull up. Um, well, here's the deal. You're going to need to put that pixel on these pages now. So, so you got to do that part first before you can do this part because this part's going to ask you for that URL. So for example, click gotcha. on, click the drop down. Well, you could tell right there that your purpose realtor, the dot is red. So yes. that means it needs to be green. The reason why it's red is because the pixel is not on any page right now. Gotcha. So, yeah. so, so when you put that pixel on, on its first page, it could be any page. When you put that pixel on the page, that, that red will turn green. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click on all website visitors, hit that drop down. All website visitors. And you'll go to people who visit a specific web pages, people who visit specific web pages. And then what you'll do is you'll paste in that link. So for example, your landing page, you're gotcha. running an ad. And then they click learn more on the Facebook ad. They come to your landing page, which, which is asking for their name and email, right? That landing page, whoever lands there, here's the, here, here's the deal with, with online advertising. You're going to have X amount click learn more. You're going to have X amount come to the landing page. You're going to have X amount leave. But they landed on the page, right? They got that far. They just didn't opt in for whatever reason. This right here is you take the URL of the, of the landing page and you paste it right there. You give your name, you name your audience, and these would be website visitors. So these are people who landed on my landing page, whether it was an open house, whether it was a listing, whether it was my seller guide, whatever. 
These are people who landed on my landing page from an ad, but never opted in. Those are people that are just as good as people that watched 15 seconds of my video. Because for them to get that far, there was some type of interest, unless I'm just, you know, a bunch of realtors are just seeing my stuff and they're just hacking me for whatever reason. But if it's not that, then it's normal people that are down the street that are clicking on my ads. They just haven't opted in. Those are people that I want to create an audience around and continue to retarget target them as well. So I would name, name the audience. I would name it, but first we have to put the pixel on the page. Um, but then I would name the audience website visitors. Website visitors who haven't opted in. And that's my custom audience. And boom, now when I go run Facebook ad number two, I'm going to retarget them. I'm going to retarget my 15-second through plates, and I'm going to retarget everyone who, who lands on my page but have yet to opt in. To opt in. Okay. So, so that would be website. And then you would create another custom audience of those who opted in. When you opt in, let me share my screen really quick. Let me know if you can see, if you can see my screen. Can you see my screen? I cannot. You may turn mine off. Yeah. Stop. Just stop share and, and, and see if you can cut on my screen real quick. Cause this okay, is super gotcha. important. This is super important. You see it now? Yes. Okay. So as I'm scrolling through the news feed, and then all of a sudden I come across a sponsored ad, there's the text, there's the video, there's the learn more. Yep. As people click on learn more and they come to my landing page, whether it's an open house, whether it's a listing, whether it's a seller guide, whatever. They come here, but they bounce. That's what we call a bounce rate. X amount of people are going to come here. Out of, every, out of 10 people that come here, you may, have, you, may have, you may have eight of them that leave. But they saw your ad. They saw your ad. They click learn more. They got this far. But for whatever reason, they didn't opt in. Eight out of 10 of them would most likely do that. But the two is all you really need to tell you the truth. You just need one to tell you the truth. If you had one out of 10 opting in, you're a wealthy man, just on 1% alone. But, but let's just say, let's just say out of eight out of 10, those are people that bounce, but those are people who landed here. Those are people who are now a custom in my custom audience. Those are website visitors. I want to create a custom audience and continue to retarget them. Right. But what about the people that actually opt in the two out of 10? So that person comes here, they actually opt in, they click the yellow button, they then come to this thank you page. That's why I don't exactly know if KV Core is this basic because a, all it is is taking them to a landing page offering one thing. If that's an open house, that's my one thing. If it's a listing, that's the one thing. If it's a seller guide, that is the one thing. When they opt in for that one thing, they then come to a thank you page where it should be you on video. That's my, that's my, my highest, I mean, recommendation. I should click opt in and then all of a sudden see Scott on video. Hey guys, this is Scott. Thank you so much for inquiring on this listing. Let me tell you a little bit about, about this property and also introduce myself. That is a powerful 60 second video because again, what you're doing is you're, you're promoting a listing, you're, you're promoting an open house or you're running an ad for a seller guide. So, so what you have to have set up with KB core is the fact that they come to a page like this and my pixel needs to be on this page because right. here's what's happening. What I'm going to, what I'm able to do is I'm then able to take when my pixel is on the page, I'm then able to take this link and create a custom audience around everyone who lands here. And what's that custom audience going to be named when they came to the, to the first page, when they came to the first one, this is website visitors who haven't opted in. That's one custom audience. But when they opt in and they actually hit this page, my pixel needs to be on here as well. And this needs to be a custom audience set up as well. And what do I name this custom audience? Open house leads. Listing leads. Seller guide leads. Now, why is, why is that so important? Because as I continue to run future ads, ad number three, ad number four, ad number five, I need to be able to know who landed here. I need to be able to now exclude them from seeing future ads, especially if it's a seller guide. I don't want, if you opt in and you download my seller guide, but then you're, you're seeing ad number two, three, four, five, and I keep telling you to click learn more to opt in for my damn seller guide. 
you're like, dude, Scott, I freaking did that two weeks ago. Yeah. Right. And then now they keep seeing your, your, your seller guide videos. It's like, no, dude, we need to be able to exclude those people from future ads. And the way you do it is you create a custom audience. And then as you go in and click the green button, you set up the ad, you now can exclude this specific audience. And so, and so that's what you have to find out through KV core is okay. When they actually opt in, where do they go next? That very next page, I don't care what it is. That very next page needs to be set up as a custom audience. That very next page you need to put your pixel on. And I'm just convinced that KV core isn't like that. I think when you opt in, it takes you to a certain page where you cannot put that pixel on. If I'm, if I'm not, if I'm, if I'm still right. I mean, I looked at a lot of KV cores, but it's all about this thank you page. That's what it's all about, man. So, so if you could put the pixel, if they're telling you, you could put your pixel on the landing page. Okay, cool. But what about the next page? That's the million dollar question. And that's the, that, that is absolutely required without putting the pixel on the next page, call it a thank you page, call it a freaking listing page, whatever, whatever they land on when they opt in that page needs to have my pixel and needs to be set up as a custom audience which also allows me to set up a custom conversion, which is required to run the conversion ad. And I know that was a lot right there, <laughs> but. This is where you, this is where you uh, capture people and say, Hey, Hey Dave, how much would we, would you charge me just to do all this for me? <laughs> right. This is where it happens, Scott. Seriously, bro. Like, this is where, where X amount of my clients will say, you know what, David, the hell with all that crap. You do it for me. <laughs> Right. So again, man, you, that's where I hope to take you. Like, but I want to close some deals first. Like, let's get this pipeline going first. Like, let's get some seller guide leads first and let's get, you know, and then down the line when the budget maybe even opens up even more, you'll be like, Hey David, you do this shit for me. Right. right? Okay. Um, but I'm, I'm trying to, trying to just coach you on, on just the basics on what needs to, what needs to be set up first. You yeah. have to have the, the right landing pages and, and, and these pages have to have the pixel and these pages have to be set up as custom audiences. That, that's, that's what I'm saying. Is, 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 and, it, and it's all about this next page. This is what we call a thank you page. They opt in, then they come to this next page. It's a thank you page. This has to be set up as, as a custom audience and a custom conversion or we're not capturing leads. Bottom line. So, so whatever page, whatever page your, your KB core is, why don't you just opt in and see where it takes you? Sure. Let's do that real quick right now. Let me stop share. Uh, I haven't here. built it. Uh, it's, oh, you have to build it, right? You have to build yeah, it. I got to build yeah, it. So build it. I mean, that's right. I don't want to waste your time. Go ahead and share your screen. No worries. Okay. But, but that's custom audiences. And that's what I wanted to want, want you to bookmark. And all I'm giving you is a rundown of, of the website, the website field. So create audience, custom audience. Do that again. Hit the blue button, custom audience. So everything I'm telling you right now is for the website. It's for the website. So that's where we create custom audiences of people who land on different parts of your website. That's so important. Okay. I named audience, but where do you add the, You're, okay. You don't have to add the website here on this. No, you yet. have to, yeah, you do, you do, but you have to, you have to, you have to add that pixel to a website first. And then that red dot would turn green. Okay. So let me show you where to get the pixel. So X out of this. Okay. And then, so you bookmark this page, right? This is, these are your custom audiences. Yes, I did. I got it. Okay. So now click on the dots to the left and then click on events manager. This is where your pixel is at. So, um, and we may have to create one if you haven't already, but that's fine. We can easily do that. So your purpose realtor, that's the name of your pixel. Okay, so you name the pixel. We just haven't installed the pixel on any, on any pages yet. Right. So let me show you where to get it. So in fact, what you want to do is you want to you want to you want to bookmark this page. Actually, you know what? Let's set up the pixel first, and then you can bookmark it. So click on okay. click on the, the blue button. Continue pixel setup. Click on that, and then install code manually, and then copy code. There, and then you can X out of this. That's your, so, so, so X out of this, just I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it on a, um, hang on. I'm going to paste it to a, yeah, paste it somewhere. Yeah. All right. I don't know if you can see that or not, but no, just X out of this, um, 
I don't know if you're still in the website in the pixel. Yeah, you can X out of the, I don't know if, yeah, X right there. Perfect, so you, you got the pixel copied and now just paste it somewhere. We can use, we can go grab it when we need to. Perfect, perfect. Okay, cool. So then, so then that's the pixel. Bookmark this page right here. And once you add that pixel to a page, then that red dot would turn green and, and now you're active. Now you can go set up custom audiences around the website URLs, which are so important. Again, the okay, landing so page or the, or the thank you page. If I, um, if I can't get KB Core to work, then my other option is just to buy Kartra, I guess, and then um, set it up through there. Um, do, do I need, I probably need your assistance if I need, if I need to go that direction. You're, I already know you're going to have to. Um, and the only reason why I, I, I recommend Kartra, which I'll send you a link for a 14 day trial. So don't even worry. You'll play around with it. But the reason why I recommend that is because there's three things you need when you start running Facebook ads. Number one, you need landing page software. You need the right one. And what I mean by the right one is I need to be able to put my pixel on every page. If I can't put a pixel on every page, then I'm screwed. I'm screwed. I need landing page software. So KB Core, you need to be able to put on every page. And I don't think you can. I think you can only put it on your landing page, which makes no sense. I need the, I need the, the pixel on the thank you page as well. That's the most important. So it's not even the landing page. So landing pages email autoresponder. So when that person goes to my landing page for my listing, my open house, my seller guide, there needs to be a system in place where when they opt in, they instantly receive an email regarding that details. So if it's a listing email, if it's an open house, they receive an email right away. If it's a seller guide, there's a link to download your 2020 seller guide. Click here. That's an email. So that's an automated email. And then the day later, guess what? Another email better be going out. A day later, another email better be going out. I have to nurture this list. It's an email autoresponder. I'm not going to sit here and physically email everybody. Hell no. Right, gotcha. right? I need that email autoresponder. That's number two. And then number three is an online calendar because in my emails, I'm going to set up these handful of emails, automate the entire thing. But in each email, there's a call to action. And hey, hey, hey Scott, and by the way, and let's, say it's a, it's, let's say it's a seller guide. A handful of emails are going out regarding the seller guide. But in each email, let's say email number four. Hey, Scott, this is Dave. Just wanted to follow up. I know, you I know you downloaded my 2020 seller guide a few days ago. I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you, you and your family were able to get through it. Hey, do you remember on page nine when I was talking about the importance of renovating your kitchen to really help increase the value of your property should you decide to sell it? Here's what I meant by it. A couple sentences. And then below that, hey, and by the way, Dave, if you'd like to schedule a call and really pick my brain and really, really, you know, set aside time where we can speak on the phone and I can really give you all my secret strategies, click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. And that's yeah. email number four automated with the number one thing that I need, which is number three, the calendar. So I need to be able to send a link in each email with, a, with my calendar because yeah. at the end of the day, I need these people on the phone. This is just how I'm going to automate the appointment process. Really, I'm going to run a Facebook ad to a landing page. These leads are going to be receiving automated emails. In each email, there's a link to my calendar. And in each email, I'm bringing value on, that, on what they opted in for. So they opted in for your listing. You ran a Facebook ad on your listing. It was you in front of the listing giving two minutes of details of that property on video. They saw they're coming into your funnel from a listing. They're coming into your funnel from an open house. They're coming into your funnel from a seller guide. You doing a video on offering your free seller guide, whatever it may be, man. Number two, the email autoresponder. Number three, the calendar. Because all I'm trying to do, man, and all these emails that are going to follow that I set up, pre-set up, that I automate, all these emails are going to have a link to my calendar. And that link is not in the, in, the, in the email signature. That link to my calendar is not PS. And by the way, no, that link is in the freaking middle of the body of that email. Like, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Hey, John, and by the way, man, if you want to jump on a call now, I'd love to give you all my strategies on how I help my clients sell fast or buy their next home or freaking you're, you're, you're giving me a handful of emails regarding this listing, right? I inquire, I go to your, I, I see your Facebook ad on your listing. I opt in. There better be five emails that follow regarding that listing. And in each email, there's a link to your calendar so I can schedule a private showing. All automated, man. So that's why I recommend Kartra. It's the landing pages, it's the email autoresponder, and it's the calendar. That alone justifies the cost, 
which is 99 bucks a month. So, but I only tell people you only need that if you're running Facebook ads. If you're not running Facebook ads, you don't need landing page software. And that's the best software out there because it comes with all three. If it's not Kartra, you'll have to go pay for all three individually. Right. And, and each one is about a hundred bucks a month. The most, the most popular landing page software out there is ClickFunnels, which has been around for about six years. The most popular one when it comes to online marketing, capturing leads, no matter what business you're in. If you're, if you're looking to capture a lead on the internet, it's a landing page and ClickFunnels is one of the most popular, but it's a hundred bucks a month just for the landing pages. Like I need an email autoresponder and I need an online calendar. So that's why I go with, you know, Kartra for the same price. I get all those three. Um, but here's the deal. If you do end up having to go that route, you could set up a 14 day trial first, play around with it. But that's when you get all my time for free. What I end up, when I, what I end up having to charge you on is Facebook ad coaching. But, yeah. but if we were to shift gears and now need the landing page software, that's when I would literally give you all my time for free. Not only, not, not only would I give you my time for free, but I would help you set up the entire thing. And I have all these funnels already done for you. Like all these listing funnels, open house funnels, seller guide funnel, freaking the yeah. seller guide. Like I already have it all done. Like all I gotta do is transfer it to your account and boom, you have it all. And then okay. we can spend our time, you know, mapping out funnels or, or setting up a new landing page. And, and I just coach you on learning how to, how to use the software. And, and, and here's the deal, man. And this is all I need to say about this Facebook ad budget landing page budget is all you need, man. If you're putting money into anything else today in marketing, I truly believe you're wasting your money. Now, if you're seeing an ROI from this direct mail pieces that you're sending out, okay, whatever. If you're seeing some type of ROI on these leads that you're buying, okay, whatever. But I'm convinced that most people aren't. And if you're trying to put your face on a billboard or a bus bench or a local flyer, good luck. Like none of that stuff, man, door knocking. What are you really, we're going to door knock, really? You know what I mean? So it's like, dude, I need to be spending my money wisely and I'm telling you, it's Facebook ad budget and landing page software. That's all a person needs to be spending money on today, and especially in real estate. You know, so, so this pixel needs to go on, on those pages is what I'm saying. So you bookmark this page. Let's click on the dots to the left. Um, and then what else do we need to bookmark? I think that's, I think that's actually custom conversions, which, which we can't set up a custom conversion just yet. So go down to, go to, um, go to um, um, at the top events manager and then to the left, that blue triangle, hover over the blue triangle and we're gonna go custom conversions. That's what we need to set up first, but let's just, let's bookmark the page anyways. Click on that and then you're gonna click on custom conversions. So this is when we tell Facebook about the thank you page. That's why the pixel has to be on the thank you page because I need to be able to tell Facebook about this page. Whoever lands on this thank you page is a lead. And then when I go and run a Facebook ad, I am specifically, that's why when we go click the green button, create, we then go into the setup. We went with video views for the first ad. Now I'm telling you from ad number two and on, you're going conversions. We're now telling Facebook, hey man, I'm only spending money to get a lead. And, and also Facebook, I'm only spending money to get people to this specific page. And that specific page is your thank you page. So, so this is when we're able to really narrow it in and, 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 and really pay for leads. This is now lead generation. You know what I mean? But, but again, my pixel has to be on that page and I have to set up a, a custom conversion. So if, if you cannot put your pixel on your KV core thank you page, that's when we're going to have to look into something like, like what I'm saying is, is that other software, because this is oh. the most important, that pixel has to be on that page and this has to be set up. So I'll look so at those that right bookmarks. You know, I'll try to do it. And uh, I'm, I don't know. I have a good feeling that, like you said, if it won't work and then I guess I, I think I already have a link from where you sent out, sent a video to me with the 14 day thing for Kartra. And mm -hmm. so if it doesn't work, I mean, I'm not going to waste any more time. I want to just get this thing going. So yeah, man. Yeah. Um, especially, if, especially if you really plan on running weekly ads, man, which I hope you do. Like if you really plan on running these ads, you're going to need it. You're going to need it. But, but even again with the KB core, like, okay, I go to your landing page. I opt in. What are you going to do with my lead after that? Are you going to, are you going to have to manually go in each time and email me a link to your PDF? Right? Like how, 
there's it's it's set up with a bunch of uh smart campaigns where it automatically oh perfect but all it, it has to be set up still and so i see the value of what you're saying really is that um you already have the funnels <clears throat> excuse me it was created already in Kartra, so um that's probably the easier route to go um instead of trying to reinvent the wheel on kb core I have, uh, I have all the funnels, but, but what also comes is, is the value is my time. Like I, I get to jump on a call whenever the hell you need me and, and, yeah. and put together these funnels and freaking make sure everything is connected. Um, that right there is super, super. Cause again, in the very beginning, I had to pay somebody to teach me Kartra. Like, like I've been on Kartra for two years now, but in the very, 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 very beginning, I had to pay somebody shout out to my boy Mauricio in, Co in Costa Rica. Costa Rica, I ended up finding him or he found me through our Kartra Facebook group. Um, when I, when I started in 2018, I simply posted, I said, Hey man, can anybody help me set this Kartra thing up? Yeah. I was brand new. I didn't knew nothing about Kartra, knew nothing about any of that stuff. Um, and then this guy replies is all, yeah, he's all, I can help you. And then he, he gave me an hourly rate. And because he was in Costa Rica, it was a very affordable hourly rate. I think he, paid, I think I, he charged me like back then it was like 10 bucks an hour. I'm like, heck yeah, dude, I'll, I'll hire you for a couple hours to sit here and freaking let me drill you with questions and walk me through the entire software. So I think I spent like 40 bucks, bro. Like after a few sessions with him and I was, I was fired up. And after that, I'm like, dang, man, if it wasn't for you, like I wouldn't have been able to do this and it was worth spending the few bucks. But had he told me, David, set it up and I'll give you all my time for freaking free. That would have been a little different. You know what I mean? And, and so that's what I'm able to do is, is make sure that you, Kartra pays me a little referral fee. That's why I don't have to charge you for it. So they, they pay me to help you succeed with that software. You know what I mean? Okay. So that's my whole financial incentive on helping you and making sure you keep it. Cause I get a little residual off the account every month. That's what kind of what I'm in it for is building up that residual. I have a ton of clients on that software. Okay. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm able to give you the time for free. And, and not only that, but we have two calls every, every Tuesday and Thursday. So today we have a call every, every Tuesday and Thursday at 4 PM Eastern. Um, Kartra support does a live Q and a like this screen share. They, they take you from A to Z though. It's a Q and a, so you can jump on the call. Hey, Hey, how do I put you this landing page? Hey, how do I change the color? Hey, how do I change the font? Any random question you have every Tuesday and Thursday, that's a free call that they do every, every Tuesday and Thursday. That's an hour long, they just, there's no, there's no, um, preparedness. They just come and you just come with your question and they just answer it live on screen share. So there's a ton of support on that software, man, is what I'm saying, you know, okay. but, um, but that's that. So that's kind of where we're at, man, is, is the fact that the next step, we can't even run ad number two until we figure out what we're going to do what, until we figure out where we're going to put the damn pixel. Right. Right. I got you. You know, yeah. either we're going to put it on a KB core page and you can, or we're going to have to set up a new software. Okay. Um, yeah. Let me make sure. So whatever that email autoresponder that you have, that you're, that you're referring to that you have, you need to be able to re-edit that and provide a link for your download. If you're running the seller ad, the seller guide campaign, which, which is, which is what I'm, I mean, what, what I'm telling you to stick, stick to, like, if it's not a listing, if it's not an open house, random one-off ad, right. then every week I'm running an ad talking about my seller guide and right. offering that. So that first email needs to be able to, I need to be able to edit that email in the KB core system or whatever system you, 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 you're saying you have, you need to be able to edit that email to, to put a link for that download. And it's just a simple PDF. But do, I don't even know if you have a seller guide yet, but I have a ton of seller guides I can send you. Yeah, I, you I was going to ask you because you had mentioned that before. Yeah, um, man. I have of, a ton of them. Of I, the wheel there. If, if you have something on hand, we can. Yeah. Are, are you familiar with Fiverr? Did I tell you about Fiverr last time? Yes, you did. Yeah. Yeah. Like if you, if you go to Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R, -I -I -E Fiverr.com, you can look for a designer and you can send them your, the PDF. Like it's going to be branded to somebody else, obviously. Yeah. Um, and you can send it to them, send them your headshot, send them all your contact information and say, Hey man, here's a seller guide. I need you to edit the freaking color. I need you to edit the name. I need you to put my face on it and they'll completely rebrand a 17 page seller guide that I can give you. Okay. You know, but again, that seller guide 
is what's tied to Kartra again. For example, so right. when you go to my page, my Kartra page, and you opt in for the seller guide, it's my Kartra email autoresponder that is triggering that email right away with a link to download that seller guide. That's super important. So that has to be set up in your email autoresponder where, where all you got to do is just be able to edit an email. You know, that's it. And, 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 and in that email, there's a link, you know, to download the PDF. Yeah, I think uh, I'll look at it, but yeah. I'm not sure that that. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't think so there. But then again, the third tool, the third reason is that calendar. Right. You got to be able to put in that email, man. And hey, John, by the way, I'd love to chat with you. If there's anything I can help you with, let's jump on a call. If you're looking to sell this year, if you're looking to sell this week, whatever. I just, I'd love to just jump on, answer any questions you and your family may have. Um, yeah. You know what I mean? And, 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 and click the link below, take you to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Yeah. That calendar link is so important. So again, if it's not Kartra, you'd be paying for a separate calendar software and it's not Gmail. You can't use Gmail. You need some type of online calendar. And the, the most popular ones is Calendly yeah. or, or Schedule Once. And you could do the Calendly free one just until you get like X amount, but then you're going to want to upgrade. And I think when you upgrade, it's like 20 bucks a month. So it's like, dang, dude, now I'm paying 20 bucks a month for the calendar. Now I'm paying a hundred bucks just for the landing pages. Then I got to go get a free, you know, some type of email autoresponder. So it's already too many. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, so um, that's kind of where we're at, man, is we need to put that pixel on the next page. So find out if you can do that. And it's the thank you page. It's when they opt in, where right. do you go next? It's that page that your pixel has to be on. Find yeah. out if you can do that. And then let's, let's schedule another call. Okay. All right. Okay. I'll work on that. And I, I don't know if you would send me your thing on with the 14 day trial. I swear I had it. Dude, set it up, bro. Set it up. Let's set up another call like right away. Set up the act, activate the 14 day trial and then we'll jump on and I'll, I'll, I'll import all the funnels to you while you're in this 14 day trial and we'll just play around with it. And, and I'll show you how basic this is, man. How basic okay. and how effective it freaking is. And how, okay. and how you're going to need it and how you're going to, and how it's going to be worth it. So I'll email you that link and then, and then schedule another call. I'll, I'll email you the 14 day trial link and then I'll email you my calendar. Actually, you know what? No, just email me when your time is. Cause for some reason, man, my calendar doesn't, doesn't like your email. I don't know what the heck it is. I don't know. Is it just me? Yeah. It's just you, bro. Like it's just <laughs> you. Like I schedule people all damn day on that thing. It's just you. <laughs> I don't know what it is, dude. It's just you. Like I can never get a confirmation on you and it sucks because you need to get a confirmation too. And you know what I mean? So yeah, dude, just let me know. Email me. I'll email you the link to my 14 day trial and then just reply to that email on your best time, you know, to, to chat again. Okay. Cool. All right. That works. Sounds right, good. Bro. At least we bookmark all these important pages. Now yeah. it's just time to focus on where we're going to put that pixel. Once we put that, once we know where we're going to put that pixel, setting up ad number two is a freaking breeze. And I'll walk you through that part. And what do you think? Should I run that? Uh, oh, let's go back into Facebook real quick. We got a minute. Yes, 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 yes. Um, and, and fix this, uh, this cap. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to your ads manager. And then uh, to the left, click on the dots and then click on billing. Wait. Uh, ad manager. And you know what, just to clear, let's see, I know, I think we tried messing with this before, but hit the review and publish that blue button in the top, right? Yeah. This is, a, this is a, there's a couple things stuck in there. Yeah. You never really want to leave that blue like that, but um, it's not affecting anything, but at the same time, it's just annoying. Yeah. I could get a, I could send a uh, thing to Facebook help and get them to delete it. No, it's okay. We could just clear it. We should be able to clear it out. I don't know what, I, yeah. Last time we were kind of, having a hard time with this but let's see if we can do it this time so you have two ads with errors yeah that's fine so just hit the the check mark yeah delete they were deleted so hit the check mark to the bottom try to publish items with errors bottom left and then hit the green button yeah try to, yeah publish keeps coming back okay see if you can hit discard drafts i know we did that last time and it didn't do anything discard Multiple items couldn't be deleted. You see that? Yeah, actually, we're good. We're good now. We're good now. Um, actually, dang it. Hit done. Oh, perfect. We're good. We're good. Now that now it's gone. Perfect. 
Okay, cool. So um, um, go ahead and show me. What were you going to show me? That's fine. You can leave those like that. Oh, these are the ones that were busted. So, um, See if you could turn those gray. I think... Um, Yeah, see, and that's what puts it in, in the review and publish. That's what lit, lights up the blue button again. Yeah, every time. That's I fine. Just put discard drafts. That's fine. Those are, um, those are older. Actually, God, that's... I don't know how I can get rid of them. Is there a way to completely delete it? Yeah, you can delete it. Hit the, hit the box, checkbox, and then just hit uh, the trash can or hit more to the right, more. Actually, no, to the left, right there where it says more, right in the middle, right below ad sets, right be below that middle tab. Oh, gotcha. Click on more and then delete. <laughs> yeah, it's all good, man. Just discard drafts, discard. I keep coming back. Yeah, that's fine. You're good. You're I'm good. just going to have to. I'll, I'll send a help thing after our call. I, I want to go into uh, budget or billing or yeah, whatever. Yeah, let's go to billing. So. And then maybe bookmarking this page, you know, to have this page as well is, is good. So what you'll do is you'll click on payment settings. to the right payment settings. Oh yeah. Your uh your little video thing was covering it. So oh that little dashboard or thing or the zoom thing? Your little zoom picture uh gotcha. Okay so right here okay so now what you'll do is you'll click on click on manage. You can click on manage let's change this real quick as well just to up it. I always try to up it as much as possible. Click on up it to 900. Now it's not going to accept it right away, but it'll eventually allow you to change threshold. And then to the very bottom, click on, um, click on, um, um, is that as low as it goes? That, yeah. Set an account. Yeah. Right there. At the limit. And then change that to um, change. You could change that as high as you want. Change it to 5,000. You're not going to reach that ever. Not anytime soon, but it's okay. Set limit. That way it just never works. shuts off. Perfect. You're good. So now nothing will shut off. And, um, and then you'll just know your billing date. Every, every seventh of the month is your, is your billing date. So that's really cool. You have all of August, man, to, to crush it in these ads before this bill is paid. It needs to be paid, you know? Okay. So, so that's good. Always knowing that billing date is, is, is good. Okay, so yeah, man. So let let's either, yeah either find out what you're gonna do with the pixel or or just in the meantime set up the 14 day trial and let's let's jump on another call. Okay. And and go through that together. Cool. cool. All right, man. Well, All right, Scott. Message me if you need anything, brother. All right. Thanks, Dave. Okay. Talk to you thanks. soon. Bye bye.